nine entry-level remote jobs that are hiring right now. That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. And not only that, but I'm gonna talk about what is important with these jobs. And I'm going to give you companies that are currently hiring right now. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it right away with the first one on the list, which is going to be Customer Care Embracer. And this is gonna be a customer service representative job, but specifically for the pet care industry. So you're basically gonna be spending all day talking to pet moms and pet dads about their pets. And specifically, you're gonna be focusing on pet insurance related questions. So if you're someone who really loves animals, you want to work in the animal care industry in the future, this could be an amazing job for you to start out with. And you'd be working at the company Embrace Pet Insurance. And you'd be making around 31 to $39,000 a year. So I will put the exact link that you should go to up on the screen right now. Make sure you go there, check out the job description. You can also look at the benefits, etc., and see if it's a good fit for you. But overall, I think this is going to be great for the right type of person, especially if you're passionate about animals. And I will give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, if you haven't done it already, my team and I work really hard on these videos to find you the absolute best job opportunities. So you can give us a virtual embrace by tapping the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell. Next one on the list is going to be a transaction specialist. And this is going to be great for someone who has a knack for keeping things in order. And it's kind of like being the air traffic controller of the financial and business world. So basically, you're going to be navigating and processing financial transactions. And transaction specialists make about $51,000 a year. Now, this is a lower level job, so you don't need to have a lot of qualifications to get into it. Depending on the company, you typically either don't need a college degree or you don't need previous experience or you need very little experience to get into the position. And it could be a great way to get your foot in the door in the business or financial industry. Now, here is where you can apply for some jobs. I'll put it up on the screen. You can pause the video and check it out if you'd like. But overall, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a visual merchandiser. And this is basically where you study the science and the art behind making opening displays. So when you walk past a store, for instance, those are the displays that people see. And there's people behind the scenes that kind of study and analyze the data of which displays are doing the best. And this is not only the best to attract people into the store, but also which ones end up getting people to buy. And believe it or not, there are many remote positions available for this. And I'll have some of them pop up on the screen right now so you can check them out. Now, in many cases, this is going to be an entry level job that doesn't require experience or a college degree. And you're going to make about $43,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you do get a lot of creative freedom. You can also work on diverse projects and you have a tangible impact on the bottom line of a business. So you're considered to be more valuable in times of recession. And some of the cons of this one are it can be deadline driven and it may require adaptation to different brand styles. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. And by the way, if you like the suggestions that I'm offering in this video, or you have some other careers that you'd like me to cover, go ahead and comment those down below. And there's a very good chance that they'll make it into the next video. Next, let's talk about a remote services technician. Now, this is very similar to another position that I talk about, which is IT help desk. And typically, you're going to be either helping people install software or troubleshoot some sort of software related problem. And they make around $43,000 a year. So here are some jobs. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And by the way, my friend Josh has helped a ton of people get into IT help desk careers and basically entry level IT careers in general like this one. And he actually has a free training, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that you can check out. And this is one of those careers that people are able to get into super quickly. We're talking zero experience to getting a job in seven days in some cases. So definitely a good one to check out. And I'll give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Oh, and by the way, he also has a certificate program. So if you choose to do the full program, which really helps out when it comes to getting a job, you'll actually get $50 off if you use my link. But next on the list is going to be a market research interviewer. And in this position, you would basically conduct surveys and gather information. And you'd be doing this with customers or potential customers of a company. And this allows them to make informed decisions about their product and services. And in this position, you'd make about $37,000 a year. Now it's another one that's entry level, very easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree. Here is a good job opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. And yeah, this one can be a really good opportunity. It also lets you get your foot in the door working in marketing or business. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be one near and dear to my heart. And that is a YouTube thumbnail designer. So if you didn't know, there's a ton of opportunity on YouTube. And one of the most important aspects of YouTube is thumbnail design. It's actually ridiculous how important it is to the success of a video. Like you could probably have the greatest video of all time, but if the thumbnail sucks, nobody's going to see it. It's kind of like marketing and products. You could have the greatest product ever, but if your marketing sucks, nobody's ever going to use it. And that's where the YouTube thumbnail designer comes in. This is a person who is an expert in creating thumbnails that catch people's attention and get them to click on videos. And there's a really cool article I just saw about a 19 year old who makes a full 
full-time income just designing thumbnails. And according to Glassdoor, thumbnail creators make about $82,000 a year. Although this is going to vary greatly depending on the size of the channel you work with and your skill level. Another website, ZipRecruiter, says you make about $19 an hour making thumbnails from home. So like I said, the pay is going to vary greatly. One website you can check out is ytjobs.co. This is a really good website to start making thumbnails. You could also work on Fiverr. And here is a job opportunity, which I'll put up on the screen. So a lot of different ways to get started with this. Overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Next on the list is an auction specialist. And you're going to be basically evaluating, appraising, and managing the sales of online auctions. And e-auction specialists make about $54,000 a year. So overall, this one's a little bit harder to get into than some of the other ones on the list, although they typically don't have any like really solid qualifications. Like you don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to have previous experience, but you do have to be able to do the job. So I will put some job opportunities up on the screen right now. You can check them out if you'd like. And overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. Now, by the way, if there's some jobs on here that aren't necessarily a great fit for you, but you know a friend, like a friend just popped into your head, who's also looking for a job, make sure to share this video with them. My team and I spend a ton of time looking up these jobs and job opportunities. We make sure they're always with really good companies and we make sure they're legit. So definitely send them to a friend who needs to see it. Next on the list is a very interesting career, which is an online reputation manager. And this is kind of a combination of a PR person, which is a public relations specialist, and also someone who kind of just like looks online, looks on Google and sees if anyone is slandering the company's name. And then they take certain actions to make sure that the company's online reputation is good. And just to illustrate how important this is, the market share of American Airlines stock fell by $1 billion after a video was posted to social media where it got over 100 million views and the event was talked about in over 1 million posts. So online reputation management is incredibly important. And you can get paid about $74,000 a year for this career. Plus, it's one of those careers where they tend to like to hire younger people just because younger people are more familiar with how social media and the online digital landscape works. I handle social media for the family. So lots of opportunities here. I'll put some of the jobs up on the screen so you can check them out. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is very interesting and you probably didn't know this was a career and that's PowerPoint designer. And this is where you turn mundane, boring slides into a work of art. And if you don't think you can make money with this, there's a story on CNBC Make It of a 33 year old who brought in $2 million making PowerPoints. And there's many cases where either sales pitches or investment pitches are made using PowerPoints. And so of course there is a market for people who specialize in this. And PowerPoint designers make about $67,000 a year. And it makes sense because a really well-designed PowerPoint could make the difference between you getting the sale or getting the investment. And that could potentially make the difference of tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'll go ahead and put up some opportunities on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And overall, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't checked it out already, I did do a video on 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.